We arrived in Brighton early in the morning and started our day by having breakfast at this beautiful place that Mum and Steve really wanted to show us. After a wonderful breakfast, we headed out into the city. Right, while we're wandering through the streets, let's hit you with a few facts. With a population of over 300,000, Brighton is one of the UK's most visited places. Just an hour on the train from London, it's the closest south coast city to the capital. Brighton's famous across England and beyond for its unique and open culture. As the green capital of the UK, Brighton's MP Caroline Lucas is actually the only Green Party MP in the British Parliament. While many British seaside resorts and towns have suffered a lack of funding and upkeep over the past few decades, Brighton has boomed and is now one of the most thriving cities in the country. And the thing we love about Brighton the most is that it's a foodie heaven. You can literally find restaurants here from every corner of the globe. Right, that's enough facts for now. Let's just enjoy the views. So we're in an area called the Lanes at the moment, which is arguably the hippest area of Brighton, full of little alternative shops, clothing shops, antique stores, as well as lots of little street food from all over the world. If you want to find it, you find it in the Lanes. Head on the pier. It's the Brighton got me. And it's literally, and I always fear that they're going to shit on me. <laughs> you wouldn't do that, would you? I don't fancy the security here much.
So I'm not going to lie, when I used to come to this place as a kid, I used to be scared shitless of these wooden panels we're walking on now. I think they've relayed them and they seem to be closer together, don't they? But before, they were bloody awful and used to look through and see the water below and I was scared shitless. I'd only walk on the path over there. The beach looks really beautiful from distance, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, and it's not jam-packed with people as well. I think last time we came over here, it was really sunny day and oh my god yeah i think as soon as the temperature hits sort of higher than 15 degrees <laughs> and the and sun's out piles here. be honest are you still scared now are you just braving it and you know <laughs> <He's walking. laughs> tell the story <laughs> you are not aren't you no i'm not scared I have my doubts. <laughs> I want to go now. <laughs> Mommy! Mommy! Mom! <laughs> so when you get to the end of the pier here, it opens up into like a little mini theme park with all sorts of rides. There's even a water flume, I think, which maybe if it was like 20 degrees, would be okay. But today we're steering clear. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, None of us are going on any of the rides today. And not because we don't want to, but because they're all closed. <laughs> it's January, I mean, it makes sense, <laughs> but everything's closed, apart from the arcades inside. your feel of a place changes like I never used to like Brighton when we used to live here but now I actually really do I love these little tiny streets and you can literally find anything in there there are so many amazing restaurants and foods from literally all over the world and I don't know the vibe of it just feels different I guess it does depend on a lot on the, how you feel in your head maybe I guess we almost are tourists ourselves now here. That's how it feels, but yeah, you don't leave here now. And you look at things different, but I really like it here now. And also because there's you? no people around. That will be definitely, yes, one of the biggest reasons. <laughs> Where are we going? Can I have some money? <laughs> yeah, here's 10p. Okay. Don't spend it all at once. Bye bye. Is he worth Wait, oh my god. Well, that was shit. Mm. Can I have a 10p? Yeah. Uh, I don't like this machine. <laughs> Would you like 10p? Oh god. Yes, please. You're welcome. I believe you, you can do it. Oh, this, there's a lot of overhangs on this one. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. How much have you got? Count the winnings. 30 pence. 30p. You're three times our money. We go but you lost that first 20p, so we're, we're square. Back. Right, this is the one. No, okay. This next one's the one. You can tell who's got the addictive personality. <laughs> yes! Oh my god! No. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Well done, 
congratulations. What are we going for? <laughs> Whatever's easier. <laughs> Still got some money in our account. <laughs> Zoltar, the great gypsy, at your service. Listen carefully. May not be the Maldives. Sorry? Yeah. Oh, it's definitely right. Albion Groin. What were you saying? It's not Maldives. See, this may not be the Maldives, but it's got a charm. Definitely. Every single place has got a charm of its own. Just like humans. Oh, Z Zoltan got me all. <laughs> Zoltan the gypsy got you all uh, sentimental. <laughs> Okay, so when you're on the beach in the UK, there's nothing more traditional than getting some fish and chips and a cup of tea. We're gonna suck the tea off and the fish, <laughs> but we're gonna get some chips. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we've got our chips. Let's go and eat them on the beach. Oh my God, <laughs> what was that? I don't know. It was just a shell. Oh God. Just a shell, I'm hot. Oh. No way. Oh, they smell good. Some vinegar, some salt in it. Smelling good. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Chat the box. Eddie, all the scraps. <laughs> so we did actually plan to eat those chips but we started having a few and then we got attacked so we decided we're going to get fish and chips later anyway. <laughs> Let the seagulls have it. So walking along the seafront here there's actually one more or two more big sites here in Brighton that we haven't shown you yet and that is the old pier which years ago burnt down. I'm not sure what year exactly, but we'll put it down here somewhere. And the i360, which is a big tower, basically with a viewing platform that rises up to the top and you get a view over Brighton and the South Downs. Let's show you now.
you want to see the, the marble in the, in the actual loo, it's amazing. <laughs> Really do you want me to take it in the loo and check, do one? Well, I can wait and I can do the, I can do the men's after. I feel very common when I, I get impressed with toilets like that. It is incredible. Yeah, And you were chatting the whole time and I've been crossing my legs. But that makes a change because usually we go to really, really bad ones, you know? They kind of shock you. But I know, that's why I thought it was worth showing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've shown the world's worst toilet in Kurdistan yeah. and now this could be certainly well, I mean, Brighton's that, best. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> Well, yours was a hell of a lot more impressive than ours. Oh, really? That's, that that's a six out of ten. I've had better ways. Oh. So, didn't have, did you have a lack of sofa in the middle? No. I, 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 can give you, I can give you the tour, I'll show you. Yeah, go on, go on.